the number of green, red, white, and black identical balls contained in a bag is as shown in a table. So the green balls are two, and red balls are four, white are three, and then black balls is only one. So if two balls are selected at random without replacement, find the probability that both balls are green. So even though we are choosing two balls at random, we assume that we choose one, that is the first one, after that we choose the second one. So the sample spaces are going to change. For instance, if you choose the first white green ball, you choose the first green ball, then the probability of choosing the green ball will be 2 over 10 because there are 10 balls over here in total and the green are only two. And if you should choose a second green ball, probability is not going to be the same as this because the number of balls has reduced to nine and the number of green balls has reduced to one. So the probability of choosing a green ball from the nine will be one over nine. So now the probability of choosing both balls to be green without replacing it will be equal to the first probability that is 2 over 10 and the second probability is 1 over 9 and this will give us 2 over 90 and we we'll simplify to get 1 over 45 In a test, if a student has scored 80 marks in one of the subjects, his average mark in 8 subjects would be 62. If he has scored 64 marks in that same subject with the same scores in the remaining 7 subjects unchanged, the average mark would be M. Find the value of M. So we have 80 marks here. We have scored 80 marks. His average, which is the mean mark, would have been equal to 62. And we know that the mean, we found it by summing up all the scores the person had in the subject, which is sigma x, and we divided by the number of subjects, which is 8, and this gave us 62. So if you are looking for the total mark that is called before we divide it, then we should multiply through by 8. So our sigma x will be equal to 8 times 62. And this will give us 496 total marks. Now, if he has scored 64, he has scored 64 marks. Then his total mass wouldn't have been up to 496. Total mass would have been 496, 496 minus the difference between 80 and 64, which is 64, uh, 16 over 8. And this would have given us then M. So we know that our M will now be equal to 480 divided by 8. 480 divided by 8, and this would have given us 60 max. So the M is got to 60 max, meaning that you would have scored an average mark of 60. You have scored 64 in one of the samples.